Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Steins, and today I'm going to be sharing a little bit about Caddo Nation with all of you. I'm sure many, if not all of you, have never heard of Caddo Nation, but don't worry, today I'm here to answer all of your questions and inform you totally on what Caddo Nation is and um, how I am involved in that. So here we go. Caddo Nation is a Native American confederacy of several southeastern Native American tribes. So what does it mean to be a Caddo? A Caddo Indian is any member of one of several North American Indian tribes located in Arkansas, Louisiana, um, eastern Texas area, and now they are mainly located in Oklahoma. It isn't really known how long the Caddo were in the United States prior to 1542, um, but it's believed to be a pretty long time. So in 1542, they encountered a Spanish expedition in what is now southwest Arkansas, and that was recorded as being their first encounter with Europeans. European missionaries brought with them diseases such as smallpox and malaria. Um, the Caddo had no immunity to these diseases, and their population was decimated pretty quickly. The Caddo people farmed, hunted, and fished for their food. Traditional foods included corn, beans, deer, buffalo, and fish. Um, and their main weapons were bow and arrows and clubs made out of wood and the bones of animals that they hunted. Traditionally, these Indians traveled by foot and would use dogs pulling sleds to transport their things. Traditional Native American homes were made of grass and supported by a framework of poles. The shape of the houses resembled a beehive and could have a diameter up to 45 feet. Less commonly, some houses were made of brush and covered by mud. For protection, walls made out of logs were often constructed around the village. Today, however, Native American people live in modern houses and apartment buildings. Um, in regards to religion, many Caddo joined the ghost dance religion in the late 1800s, which was really popular among Native Americans living in the Southeast in different other parts of the United States at that time. Um, this religion gave American Indians hope and was based on a revelation that an Indian named Woyaka had. He saw that white people would disappear and that dead Indians would rise and live forever, and that the once plentiful buffalo would return. Caddo Indian men would generally wear loincloths, and occasionally leather leggings for protecting their legs, while women wore wraparound skirts with poncho tops, often made out of deer skin. Both the men and the women would wear moccasins. And when it was cold, both men and women would wear um, really thick robes made with buffalo fur to stay warm. Um, everyone in the tribe would wear earrings. That was really normal. It was interesting because as they came in more contact with the Europeans, their style began to change. They would start wearing more European-styled clothing like jackets and dresses. Men of the tribe traditionally had mo mohawk-style haircuts or would shave their heads except for one long lock of hair, while the women generally had really long hair, which they would wear in a bun. On special occasions, they would decorate their hair with ribbons and beads. Today, most Caddo people speak English, but some people, especially the older people in the tribe, speak their native Caddo language. Caddo is an endangered language because most children aren't learning it anymore, which is pretty sad. Contrary to my very white American looking appearance, my siblings and I and my dad are all registered Native Americans in the Caddo Native, uh, native American tribe out of Oklahoma. That's kind of always been my fun fact for things, and it's something that I've really just enjoyed learning about throughout the year. Hopefully today you learned something from my presentation and are more interested in learning about all the different Native American tribes and all the history that comes with them in the United States.